What is up guys, my name is Rossiter and welcome back to Clone Armies. Now, I think we left off at the base. Again, if you don't know, we're just uh, playing through the, uh, this, the main story again because of the updates. So the next level is the Horde, which in my opinion is one of the most difficult levels in the game. And they buffed it because there's a defender at the start now. As you can see, and there's really nothing else special, there's just nothing else there at the whole level, so... Yeah, let's, let's, let's just jump right into it. Oh yeah, and if you don't know, every time you complete a level, you'll get a capsule, which you can use to unlock, get DNA, coins, uh, units, and stuff like that. So you can level up your units and stuff. No, that's the stuff you need, that's, that's the crap you need. That's the stuff you need, because you need to be able to level up your units in order to, like, get stronger and crap. In order to beat these later levels, you might need to level up your units. And level them up wisely, that is. Frickin' criminy Christmas! There's a frickin' bazooka?! I didn't know they had a frickin' bazooka! I, I'm not telling you how difficult this is going to be because it's so freaking hard. Like, I'm not joking. I have so much difficulty with the freaking. I had so much difficulty with the. Uh... I had so much difficulty with this level. I mean, it's not even funny. Oh, come on, I was that close. Come on. Alright, Marksman it is. Let's go. God, Marksman's speed got nerfed as well. Either that or infantry's got buffed. I don't know, because they both move at the exact same speed now. Uh, fear my freaking gun. Fear it! Fear my gun. Fear it. Re. Ha! Got him. Great, here comes the gunner. <laughs> you have to be really good at dodging for this if you want to do good on this level. Because of the gunner. Now if you don't mind, I will switch to being a pyro because... Because pyro seems to be pretty good on this level. Once you clear it clear out of the big guys, it's just privates as far as I know. So... Like, you will see gunners throughout the less uh, throughout the- all of the Skywalk levels. I'm not- not kidding you. With the exception of the- of the first one, of course. Or the second one, it's the base. You will- I'm pretty sure you will see, uh, gunners on pretty much every single one of those. Uh, so I'm just going to stay here in the back and watch them do the shooting. Come on, man. You know I can't be recording for that long. Why does it take them so long? I'll just give them a second. Alright, here's where the gunner shows up. And here is where I will uh, pop in. My pyro. See how good I am at this game? Oh my god, another defender? 
Why is there another defender? Uh, well, anyways, let's go for a gunner. Because gunner is just simply overpowered. Yeah. Uh, look at the gunner in all of his glory. As you can see, he can aim now, but he can't jump. And they also raise his cost a bit, but he's still so powerful. He's still super powerful in the original game, too. I freaking dare you, Defender. That's what I thought. Got him. Frick. Okay. We got, we got this guy. Alright. It's all fine. It's all fine and dandy. I'm just gonna hang out here. My gunner is just gonna hang out here in the back until the bazooka dies. And then look at the gunner. Then I just let my pyro marksman do all the work and then advance forward. That is a lot of coins. I have a thousand coins now, which is a freaking ton. I just have to deal with this freaking. Alright, I need to clear out these privates. Alright, he's dead now. Die, Private. Oh my god, another marksman? Mother of god. Why are they so much? Why are there so many? Alright, I'm pulling out a cyborg. Yes, I know Ranger costs more, so it's probably better, but no, Ranger's worse than cyborg. Cyborg is faster, does more damage, and has approximately the same health. So. I mean, granted, his laser does recharge, but but if you're good at dodging it, that shouldn't be really be a problem, right? So I just so I'll just pause for a moment and come back when the real action begins. All right, I'm back. So we just killed off the gunner and stuff. You know what I mean? All that good stuff. All that jazz. Now we're just waiting for the gunner to finish off these dudes. Which shouldn't take too long. Considering how, uh, considering how good the defender is, or gunner. So now we just hang out behind these guys. Why is there so much lag? Like, there usually isn't this much lag when I fly. Crap, I forgot about the recharge. Ah, I'm dead. I'm gonna pull out a tank simply because he has the most health. Alright. Let's go. And no, you don't need any epic units to clear the stage, probably. You just spam pyros and gunners, that's all. You know. Actually, I will do the final boss fight using only common units. For those of you who are interested. Although you probably will have a ra at least one rare unit by now, so hopefully if you have giant, then this should be easy. You can just substitute tank for gi giant. Tank is just here to, you know, tank all the damage. So I'll be back when uh, when most of my units die. All right, so I'm back. So everyone's just about to die. That private over there, or that, um, cyborg over there is gonna get himself killed. So, use my shots wisely. So this is about to go out. So I just hit it, and the stage is over. Because bugs. Oh, they fixed the bug! Oh! Sweet, so this guy's just gonna tank all the damage. 
And then I just send something like a butcher or something to take those guys out. Sweet. Alright, so that guy took tanked all the damage. So now for our last clone, we get out something simple. And can take on lots of groups like the butcher. Like Butcher was originally a mag unit, but now, since the recent updates, he's a really good unit now. But still, like I said, make the chainsaw, make the butcher quieter. But yes, they did fix the bug where destroying one cloning machine would destroy the other. So that's gonna make so that's gonna make the rampage and the uh, and the horde way more difficult. So I'll just be right back. All right. So we've remembered this familiar scenario, you know. So we're just gonna hop up here, wait for the tank to do his stuff, and then once the tank destroys that enemy cloning machine, then we go up, eliminate the enemies, and destroy the other cloning machine. Cause that's all the tank has done is destroy one cloning machine and uh, and tank the rest of the damage. Not surprising it is his name. And then we just destroy this other cloning machine. Done. You see how good I am? See how good I am? Alright, so. Actually, I forgot to check the daily offers today because I'm really looking for a low cost. I really don't like you, game. Why are you giving me a hundred chopper packets? I want only ten. I only want to unlock the unit. And now, the boss fight. It's Frederico. He is right there! But... What is that? I like the original text for this. Brace yourself. The lunatic has built a robot of mass destruction. Destroy it if you can. Originally, it was like, Oh my god! <laughs> And, like, the narrator was extremely surprised that he built a robot, even though he's in control of the entire thing. But, yeah. It looks like the original Juggernaut. But they changed it to Juggernaut, and now it's a Reaper. And it's controlled by jetpacks, not by, you know. Alright, so. Originally, the strategy was to stay up there until the missile storm passed. Now, the strategy is to, to jump down and kill these privates. It's really hard to see these bullets, by the way. This third guy has to be killed by the time you the he reaches the second side. Alright. And then I just stare in the face of these missiles. Ha <laughs> ha! Too easy to dodge. And then I just shoot at him. All right, now. Yeet! Nice, okay. I'm not gonna be able to take out this guy. I can take out that private though, ha! Now, I just, now I'm gonna get a commando out. Simply because he's really good in this early stage of the fight. I just wait up here. I'm gonna go down actually. And he's not invincible yet, so I could hit him while he's doing that. And I just stare in the face of these missiles. Ha! You idiot! Your missiles aren't timed correctly! They used to be timed correctly, and you have to, and you had to make very precise dodging to dodge them. You know, you're an idiot, Frederico. You originally could, uh, you originally had to dodge like really good. See how much damage I did to him already. All right, so um, can I dodge that? Thank you. All right, now I just kill the rest of these dudes. Alright, sweet. So now nothing's really gonna come out until the gunner shows up. And that's when I'm gonna do that. 
Why can this gunner still jump? Ow, I'm dead. So that's gonna be a problem, is that guy. So I'm gonna get out my gunner. Actually, what level is my defender again? Three. I'm gonna pull out my gunner. Because he can hit and attack. Because he can hit and be hit. You know what I mean? Yeet. Sweet. Alright, so I can hit this guy and be hit by him. You know what I'm talking about. But the problem is, I'm not gonna last for the entire missile raid. So... There's gonna be still be a few missiles left over. I'm gonna have to jump over. So if we simply pull out a rookie, we'll be able to do some extra damage to him. Again, you don't need any epic units to beat this guy. You could just use a marksman. But I'm just using a rookie for... for the goodness of my heart. Ow! Criminy Christmas! And then I run. How? Oh my god, I don't like that. Now, if I just shoot from here, I'll be fine. Okay, okay, I barely survived that. Everything is fine. See, we're almost, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Ha! Done! You see, this is an easy boss. The boss is easy, and it's dead. Alright, so, that'll leave off today's episode. I know I only did two missions, but the missions are just going to get longer and harder. So, that'll leave off for today's episode. If you like what you saw, uh, please leave a comment down below if you want to see other games played by me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.